What's up guys, we finally have a new highest damage unit in All-Star Tower Defense. So let's go count down the top damage units in ASTD. All right, remember this is not counting abilities. If you want the best nuke units, go watch that video. All right guys, here we go. Let's start off with number 20. Also guys, I have a spreadsheet with all of this information. So go check the link in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourselves. And yes, I made the spreadsheet myself, so feel free to tell me if there's any errors, but I'm pretty sure there's not. All right, guys, at number 20, we have the one and only Ryugo. Yes, guys, this is a six star. Now, she's one of the hardest six stars to get. You have to Evo her from a bunch of the three stars into the fives. It's, it's a mess, guys. All right, but if you do get her, like low-key, she might be as hard as get as some seven stars. All right, but if you do get her, she has some pretty insane rupture damage. And she is full AoE and a hybrid unit. All right, here we go. All right, um, we got 11.9 for S7, SPA pretty good. And of course, if we, all right. So with Rupture, the you basically multiply this by a ton and her DPS is about, at max level, 6.6 .6 million DPS. Factoring in Rupture. Now that is assuming you get perfect Rupture each time, which is not that hard. And also you can increase this DPS as well if you're using um, uh, units like uh, Griffith 6 star and uh, Poochie 7 star. All right, you can definitely increase that DPS as well, but we're not counting that since those are extra support units. All right, at max stats, we got 47.8 for 7 SPA, which is pretty insane. All right, next up, guys, we got Boros. Yes, guys, Boros is only number 19 on this list, but he surprisingly does have more DPS than Ryuga, which is kind of crazy, but I guess it makes sense considering how ridiculously high his damage gets. Like, wow, like 81 for 12 without any buff. Like, that is legit pretty good. And then we got 326 for 12, which is pretty crazy. So a uh, max level DPS. All right, now this is without buff. I have him at uh, 6.8 million DPS, enough for number 19 on this list. All right, now technically in this next spot would be who drawn the Mystic, but uh, I'm not gonna count him since he's kind of like removed from the game. So uh, who drawn the Mystic is pretty decent if you use his ability right, but he also has a terrible AOE. So just keep that in mind. All right, next up we have Sid. Yes, guys, Sid at number. What is it? number 16 all right so sid is basically used for his bleed now he does also have ability as well and we did not i did not factor in his ability in with his dps all right he's bleed which is one of the best so factoring everything into it all right sid has a dps of seven oh wait i skipped somebody of 7.6 million also i forgot right before like slightly worse than sid we have um uh, broly at 7.3 million now technically speaking you could say either one is better all right, mainly because uh, bleed isn't gonna work 100% of the time. Like sometimes you're gonna accidentally double bleed and that's not gonna fix anything. So uh, in those situations, Broly has a bigger edge. Also, I do like Broly's AOE better. So personally, I think he's better straight up DPS than uh, Sid, but he also costs about an arm and a leg. All right, next up we have Yami at number 15. Now Yami, again, is another unit that probably shouldn't be on this list, mainly because his DPS is factoring in you being able to max out all eight of him. And that is nearly impossible. All right, because if you take a look at his cost, it is six million per. So there's no way you're gonna be able to max them all out. Now he used to be the best Black Flames unit, but since every other Black Flames unit became unique and their damage just got stacked, this guy is no longer as good. But he's still a pretty DP decent DPS at 7.7 .7 million, assuming you are able to max out all eight. Which again, with the current money unit meta, that's probably impossible. All right, let's move on to number 14. All right, next up we have Crow. All right, another Black Flames unit. Now this guy is way better than Yami, mainly because he has just a higher base damage. Also, he's way more affordable. He only costs 10 million to max compared to um, uh, Yami, which you need like 30 million to max out all eight. So he actually has some pretty sweet stats. Also, he is a hybrid unit, um, which is very nice. Uh, he's not like Ichigo where he only hits airs, so he actually hits both. So uh, stat wise, all right, look at that guys. 59.2 million and Black Flames, so 21 times over 40 seconds. So he hits, he hits pretty hard, guys. So I definitely recommend him. He has a DPS of 8 million. All right. That's actually a pretty big jump over Yami, too. <laughs> so way, way, way better than Yami, in my opinion. All right. Next up, we have Guts, guys. I know Guts is actually really low on this list. I have him at a DPS of at max level of 8 million. All right. Factoring in Rupture and everything that goes along with that. All right. And no buffs. Just max level stats. So 8.5 million. So he has a slightly more than um, a Crow, but only very slightly more. All right. Now, uh, the other thing that's nice about him, though, is he is full AoE. So uh, that is actually very, very convenient. 
So, uh, he actually might be worth it for you if you do like, uh, full AoE units. Um, and the one thing that makes him better than Ryugo is his damage and SPA, but Ryugo does hit airs and he does not. So that is a little bit disappointing on his end. Now, actually, surprisingly better than Guts for DPS. Yeah, I was, uh, I was a little bit shocked on this one too, guys. Apparently, Choso actually is slightly more DPS than Guts. Now, mine is only level 1, but, uh, you can kind of see... I think it's mainly because bleed is just way better than rupture. I think that's probably why. But for some reason, I have um, uh, Choso being better. And I guess his SBA doesn't matter as much if you're a bleed or a rupture unit. So those are the stats. Yeah, actually, I can kind of see it. Because this is level 1, you can multiply it by quite a bit. Alright, I guess he is getting category buffed. But uh, yeah, I have uh, Choso at slightly better than Guts, which is kind of surprising. Now, even slightly better than Choso, we have Toji. Alright, Toji is one step above. All right, look at these stats right here. That's mainly because of his 7 SPA and uh, basically the same amount of damage. Now, uh, he has a DPS of 9.2 versus Choso's 8.6. So it's actually a pretty big jump. Now, honestly, I don't think anybody's ever going to use Choso again. Because uh, let's just say uh, Toji's literally just Choso but better with more range and more better everything. He is a little bit more expensive, but he does also have a nuke. Now, I did not factor in uh, his nuke in the DPS. However, that would definitely make his DPS a lot higher on this list because this nuke is reusable. So keep that in mind, guys. He's actually not a bad unit at all to bring. And I'm actually bringing him over Sid nowadays. All right, so rounding off this next section, we have uh, Rengoku, the first burn unit on this list. Now, uh, honestly, <laughs> it's kind of bad, but burn is one of the better effects. So uh, that's kind of one of the reasons why it's higher on this list. It's pretty much as good, if not better, than bleed. And SBA does not matter as much for uh, burn units and bleed units. So he has 59.7. And this isn't even at max level either. And he doesn't even have category buff. Oh, he does have category buff. But, uh, yeah. So, really, really good unit, guys. Alright, let's move on to the next section. Alright, next up on this list, guys, we have our boy Gohan. Alright, now Gohan is an absolute beast, but he's very expensive. Uh, because you have to max out all eight of him. But, uh, also he's raged, so his damage almost doubles. So he has a pretty insane DPS here. Alright. His total DPS, if you max out all eight of him, is going to be... 10 million DPS at max, 10.2 million DPS at max level. So a uh, slightly higher than Gohan, we have um, uh, the one and only Goku. Now Goku's actually even better because he actually has two abilities, Awakening Ascended. Oh, they fixed it. Now it has the percentage on there. That's awesome. Gee, good job, Navy. All right. Or maybe it was free. I don't know who did it. But he also has two abilities, so you kind of have to, you know, add that in. But uh, we're not counting that for this video. All right. But if you use the two abilities, he's even better. All right, then one up over Goku, we have um, probably I would recommend the best um, uh, Black Flames unit in the game, and uh, that is Obito. The reason he's the best uh, Black Flames unit in the game is because he actually um, uh, <laughs> he can actually hit ground units, which is the most important. Oh my gosh, how long is this cutscene, guys? Dang, Goku, chill. This cutscene is crazy long. What's he doing now? He's like dancing. Oh, I don't know. All right, but you can see how how insane his DPS gets. He's not even that expensive either. Look at and look at the SPA guys. He has three million DPS, just straight damage. That's just crazy. And then you have to factor in the buff on top of that. So this guy's an absolute beast at ten point seven. But actually, he only has slightly more DPS than a Goku. So I would always recommend bringing Goku over Obito. All right, because the DPS is negligible, and plus you get two OP abilities. So you don't have to worry about Black Flames and being annoying and stuff. All right, but straight up DPS wise, Obito has the edge, and slightly more than Obito at 10.8, 10.9, we have Zoro, seven star. Now you can kind of see like the DPS is barely, barely better. All right, look at that, slightly more damage. Now damage, remember, damage means way more on effect units like Bleed and, Bla and uh, Black Flames than SPA does, and uh, also factoring in on top of that, you have the fact that I believe Bleed is slightly better. All right. And uh, are they both category buffed? Oh, wow, yeah. So I have Zora at a slight edge. All right, but uh, it's not very high. All right. Next up after Zora, we have not Naruto, but we have Kurama. Yes, guys, Kurama did get buffed in one of the more recent upgrades, updates. Can you control the beast spawner? Yo, what? You can control the beast spawner and it doesn't move, though. That's funny. You can control, like, this fire pit. That is so random. All right, anyways, let's go upgrade the beast spawner. Spawn it. And look at the damage, guys. 35.9 damage uh, with no buff at max level for 6 SPA. That's actually pretty good. But remember, you can't even equip any orbs on him. And he does take up 2 slots. So that's a little bit disappointing. 
And also his AoE is kind of small, but uh, he is the first fusion unit on this list at 12 million DPS, guys. That is actually absolutely insane. If you can afford to max him and you waste two slots. All right, let's go to the final countdown of the best damage units in All-Star Tower Defense. All right, so here are the top of the top, guys. All right, let's get it. All right, so we have the best burn unit and actually the pretty much the best, one of the, if not the best unit in the game. All right, we have Yamamoto. Not only is he a beast at raid mode, look at those raid mode stats, but he has this amazing upgrades. All right, I think North is the best one. Yeah, look at this, guys. 25.6 million for 15 SPA and burn is busted OP. All right, also, he has an upgrade that hits airs, etc. So he's kind of like multi-talented. Really, really beastly unit. And that AoE is crazy, guys. Look at that range. 150 range with no range buff, etc. Let's just say, guys, this range can get really, really high. And you could pretty much use it to cover almost the entire map. So this guy is an absolute beast. All right. Uh, next up, slightly above him. Actually, he has, and he has about 13.9 million DPS, I calculated. All right, next up, we have a couple units. All right, actually, we have a couple special mentions at the end. All right, but uh, we have Ichigo. All right, Ichigo, the problem with him is he has insane stats, but he only hits airs. And his DPS is actually a lot higher than Yamamoto's. 18 million DPS, but only air units. So he's only really good in air infinite mode, but if you can use him, he's pretty beastly. And then we have the number one DPS units, except for a couple special mentions, which I'll say in a second. All right, actually, we'll do the special mentions right now before I show you the best unit. We have Gojo. Now, Gojo is the best. However, you have to factor in that you have to place all eight of him. And you have to factor in his final domain finisher attack. If you factor in both of those things, he is like the highest DPS in the game still. But if not, then he's kind of just like in the middle of the pack. All right, next up we have Jiren. Now Jiren is also um, a really good unit, but he has this really weird meditate ability. So like, yeah, you would have to factor all that in. And that's tough, man. So uh, if you can somehow use the meditation correctly, maybe he's on this list. And he probably would be the highest DPS unit, but like, that's just kind of an ability, so I didn't really want to count it for this list. All right, and then of course, guys, we have the number one new DPS unit in the game. We have the one and only <laughs> Kefla. Now, Kefla, good luck getting her. Also, she's a fusion unit, but uh, you can still use her other things as well. And even her side, her side pieces are have some pretty good DPS as well. And they're not even that expensive to max. So even if you factor in their DPS 2 with her, she's still like basically the highest DPS unit in the game. So unfortunately, she's almost ridiculously hard to get. And I haven't even managed to get her yet. But uh, her stats are insane, guys. Look at this, guys. Max level DPS, 21 million. All right. Somehow I have her clocked in at double Goku UI. Like, I don't know how that happened. But somehow she's clocked in like ridiculous DPS and ridiculous damage. Uh, yeah, guys. Let's just say she's an absolute beast. If you can get her, though. And she's also a fusion unit, so I guess that kind of makes sense. Because she takes up two slots, so she would have double the rest of the units. So I guess that kind of makes sense. But the thing is, you can also still place her, her like, um, uh, baby units, like her. So you can still get a lot of extra DPS out of her. So there you go, guys. Kef and also, she's not full AoE either. She has a cone. So there you go, guys. The new best DPS units in ASTD. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.